Let's have some beer! What's been going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog! My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we have got a bottle of Minivan Kolsch by the Came and Kettle Brewery, located in Fawns Hill, Ontario. So Albino Albino took me to a bunch of small towns and I can't recall them all on top of my head. But yeah, Dave and Todd, pictured here, driving the minivan, both really, really awesome people. Didn't really get to know Todd as much as Dave, but it seemed like Dave, I can attest to his amazingness. I had such a fantastic time. The brew vlog of my day at Cayman Kettle with the Albino Rhino is going to be coming up eventually. I've just been having time constraint issues and stuff and busy doing random crap and things and stuff and you know life gets in the way sometimes. I am not a professional YouTuber. You're, you're, you're lucky you're getting daily drink vlogs. I'm just kidding. I love you all. I do. Let's crack this open and let's see what we've got. This brewery is actually just a really, really nice place to be. Like, I I spent more time at this brewery than any of the other breweries while I was down south, and I had a great time. Picture. More or less crystal clear. A little bit of chill haze going on, as you can see by the fingerprints there and stuff and things. One really random fact, I didn't actually get a picture of it or even a good shot of it in my videos because I'm a terrible, terrible vlogger, but the, uh, well, I guess, aside from this kind of vlog, you know, actual out and about vlogs, I need more practice. This image right here, that minivan, is drawn in chalk on their tap board kind of thing. Like they got all their taps there and they got chalkboard kind of painted behind. And I think it's Todd's daughter that comes in and does it. I think that's who it was. And it's some of the most mind-blowingly amazing chalk artwork, not, not just even chalk artwork, but artwork that I've ever seen in my life. Crazy, crazy talented young lady. Blew my mind. Let's give this a shot. Well, actually, let's give it a smell first. Jesus, I'm, I'm gushing over the brewery. I'm sorry. It's going to happen at least twice more. I've got two more beers from them in the fridge. And then the beer that I brewed with Albino Rhino. Hopefully, hopefully, at least this much of that of that beer will make its way to me. It smells lagery, kind of bready, biscuity, I guess maybe. Doesn't smell bad. Let's give her a shot. Yeah, a little bit of a uh, little bit of nice sweetness, kind of off the start there. Fades away into some just kind of. Again, bready, multi-tones, but good bread. Like a nice home-baked loaf of bread made by your grandma or something. I like that. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. And give me a couple of them this time. Cheers, Dave. Cheers, Todd. Cheers, Albino Rhino. Cheers, Maple Rusky. Beard loves you all so very, very, very much. Oh. Anyway, also, this shirt was gifted to me by Dave at the Cayman Kettle. Amazing, amazing guy. If you hadn't heard me say that before. I didn't actually try it on until I got home. I forgot it was even in the backseat of my car. I got home and I was like, oh yeah! And it fits me perfectly. And it's actually like a... I don't know, I find a lot of times when you go to breweries and stuff like that, they can have like cheap quality merchandise sometimes. This is not a cheap quality shirt. This is a nice, nice shirt. I like it. Thanks again. Yeah. <coughs> Randomly tried to find them. I believe the Facebook presence is kind of their biggest thing going on right now. But if you go to, I believe it was caymankettle.com. Might not be though, because I'm good at memory stuff. Caymankettle.ca. Serious. Yeah, that happened. Website under construction currently. 
as you will see, Dave and Todd sitting there working on it. That's actually awesome. I like that a lot. I'm assuming this was probably drawn by the same person who did the stuff on the chalkboard and stuff, possibly. I could be wrong. I don't know what I'm talking about at all, so it's talking things. What I can say with certainty is that is a damn nice, smooth, easy drinking beer. 4.8% alcohol. A hint of malt aroma, light hop bitterness, balanced with a bready sweetness of the malts, finishes dry and crisp in a medium light body. This minivan is the right vehicle to quench your thirst. Cheers. I like it. The website's actually even listed on the can, so I'm assuming it's going to be ready for use relatively soon. I can't. I can't even begin to say enough awesome things about this brewery. Like, expanding right now, but at the moment, as far as I know, unless they've expanded really, really, like, unless the renovations have just gone light speed since I was there, but, uh, currently using, I believe they're called Demijohns, or kind of like the big things that look like that, made out of glass, that they use for brewing, and that's how they are doing it right now, which is just insane, but awesome at the same time because I brewed my first batch of beer ever there, and it was basically like me doing a home brew. Whereas if my first batch of beer ever brewed was at some bigger craft brewery that uses the huge fermenters and bright tanks and stuff, then it wouldn't have given me probably that same sense of holy crap, I want to get into home brewing really badly now. You, you, bit, you, you bit me with a bug while I was there, Dave. A bug bit me. A bug bit my bottom. I want to make beer. And come on. Red Beard Brews. How is that just on a like, fantastic title for a series on the channel? I think it worked pretty well. I could be wrong. Again, my skills at vlogging need work. Unlike the skills of brewing, mastered by David Kim and Kettle. <laughs> ah, might take a small break. Nine minutes recording time right now. I'll be back. That'd be a damn decent beer. I got nothing bad to say, other than I guess it's a bit boring. But it's a culture. It's not meant to be anything super exciting and crazy. You know what I'm saying? Um, ratings for this was well, not untapped. That's it. 149 ratings, 3.64 out of 5 overall. So it's enjoyed. Again, like it's not. I'd be surprised to see a Kolsch get anything four or above. And that would be amazing for me. Overall ratings, I guess. So there's some people that are going to be like, "Oh my God, this is amazing! It's a 10 out of 10." It's good, but for me, it's just it's just a Kolsch. It's a good Kolsch, but just a Kolsch. Drink it last. Ah, Came and Kettle, your minivan Kolsch rating. It's a solid seven and a half, somewhere in there, eight maybe. Again, it's really quite nice, but it's just a little bland. My my taste buds have kind of gone past boring-ish beers, I guess you could say. Yeah. It's good. It's a really good gateway craft beer, I'd say. If you like Bud or Blue or Coors Light or any of that garbage, and you want to try actually supporting your local entrepreneurs, there you go. Right there. Get it in you. And that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks again to Dave and Todd. Sorry, I almost said Ron. They sound similar in my head for some reason. From the Cayman Kettle for uh, having me. And also a Vinyl Rhino for having me also. And uh, Maple Rusky. He drove and stuff. And I met him. And he was a good guy. If you liked the video, 
that, that was a that was terrible I almost feel like I want to do a cut right now but I don't do that I'll let you see all the failures Oreo agrees that was a failure if you liked the video thumbs up much appreciated if you want to see more hit the subscribe button and be sure to give that bell notification thing a little ticky ticky so you can know when I do live streams of video games and scream at my TV in rage it's good times and if you got something to say to me comment the box down below thanks again and I'll be back with another another daily drink vlog tomorrow peace out Well, that was the worst outro I think I've ever done. You gotta strive for something.